This tutorial is how to set up a parent-child relationship in Shopping Cart Elite. If we took a look at a product, for example the King 2.0 Performance Coilover Shock, we would want to choose a particular type of shock and then select a particular length. And now we'll take a look at how you would set up this particular relationship. In product management we have the King 2.0 shock and we would go to the applications and options. Notice that there's an option called shock and there's two shocks under it. Each one looks slightly different. and we have something called length. And in length there's a listing of different kinds of lengths corresponding to the shock. A couple things to be aware of here. The shock okay, is listed first and it does not have a price. However, it is considered the parent. The primary which is length, has pricing in it. So when we're setting it up, the parent will be the shock, and then the primary having the cost will actually be the child. Now if we go back to the website for a second, we can see that we have the 2-inch coil carrier, and under the 6-inch length there's a part number here ending in CCNR. In the 8 inch, CCNR. However, in the 10 inch we have a CCNR and a COHR. And we have the same problem in the 12 and the 14 inch. These are coded correctly. These are coded incorrectly. Let's see why. On the 6 inch, notice that we have CCNR and that matches CCNR here. And we have a child of relationship. We have the same thing in the COHR to match the COHR here. And we've done that for both the 6 and the 8 inch. Now let's see how we set it up for the 10 inch. We would select one of these and then go over to the optional field. Under the optional field you would pick the parent and for the CCNR the parent would be the 2 inch coil carrier. You also have to attach a product and do a search. And that's what we'll do next. In the search, I'm going to do just a search for the name. And once I have it, I'll select it. And it appears here. What we will do then is go through each one of these and set up that parent-child relationship. This is our last one I just set up. You would now do a save and upload the product. Remember, on these products, we want to match up the CCNR with only the CCNR link and the COHR only with the COHR links. 
Returning to the website, we can now see that the 2 inch coil carrier shows only those links associated with CCNR. And the other one also shows only those links associated with a COHR. This is then the way you set up a child-parent relationship. If you get the incorrect ones here, then you will have to go back and adjust them in the optional field.